Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Now, I say channel because I don't know if I'm going to put this video on my, my regular personal channel or if I'm going to put it over on One Man's Travels. Heck, maybe I'll do it both. So in that case, welcome to my channel. My name is Chris and also welcome to One Man's Travels. My, I'm your host, Chris. So, um, as the title suggests, this is my first... Um, uh, step into the whole astronomy astrophotography scene and I wanted to share my my initial beginner results um, first I have a hodgepodge uh, telescope first of all um, I started with this mead and it's a 114 millimeter I said with a star navigator 114. Um, a friend of mine borrowed it though, and well, the focuser got damaged. So, uh, unless you wanted to like pull the draw tube in and out, you weren't couldn't usually use the focus knob. So, uh, but I, I used the base and I got this telescope, the Celestron uh, 114 AZ SR. Um, it's very similar to the other cheap store-bought one that's branded with National Geographic. It's the same scope, just with National Geographic on it, or in this case with Celestron's name on it instead of National Geographic. It's the same thing. And so, but I took it off and I put it on the Mead mount so that I had a go-to mount. I'm not super familiar with the, uh, the sky and, well... I wanted to be able to take some photos, not just take, you know, uh, look through the, the eyepiece. And so over this past weekend, uh, the, well, it's the, the 12th, we went ahead and went to a dark spot and under a Bortle 3 or 4 sky, I believe it was. Not super, super dark. There was just very, very little pipe light pollution, but overall, a really good area. And so we got, I mean, the moon didn't help with the viewing quality of the sky because, you know, it being bright. But Saturn was up in its opposition. And uh, Jupiter came up a little bit later, high enough for us to get a good glimpse of it because there were some misty clouds in my area. But So we enjoyed viewing the, the seeing the rings on Saturn, which is absolutely amazing. If you've never seen the rings of Saturn with your own eye, it's 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 really cool. It really kind of puts into perspective how small in the cosmos we really are. I mean, yeah, we know that there we're a planet amongst many other planets, and you know, but seeing these objects it just makes you want to do more. And so I brought my laptop out with me and installed a smart cap on it. And I used the SV Boney SV105. It's a two megapixel camera. It's their cheapest camera. It's 50 bucks. I just wanted something to start with. I didn't want to go out and spend, you know, two, three, four, eight hundred dollars on a camera, especially being paired with such a an, an, a beginner scope. <laughs> I don't want to buy a camera that that sells for more than what you can buy this scope brand new for, which just seemed ridiculous. But so I paired it up and I took some videos and I used a, a, a few different pieces of software. Um, I experimented with Auto Stacker and Registax and seeing which one gave me the results that I was looking for. And so uh, I I used. Uh, for Saturn, the video didn't come out as well as I would have liked, but I, using the camera and using the camera app in Windows 10, I just kept on hitting picture, 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 picture for like, I don't know, 30 or 40 shots, no, 60 shots, something like that. It's crazy. And, uh, but I used the video. I, I took video with for uh, Jupiter, and I run both the all the stills and 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 the video through Registax. No bias, no flats, no dark frames, nothing, just lights. And uh, well, 
they turned out pretty good. You know, adjust them a little bit, uh, watched a couple videos for, you know, adjusting the photo in, you know, Photoshop. And so <laughs> it was really cool. I'm not going to lie. So it was really cool to share those on my um, my Facebook profile with, with friends and everything. And so as a result of my photos, I want to get a little bit closer. Um, I don't know if it will help or uh, diminish my results, but I ordered a better quality 3X Barlow lens. Uh, my, I had a 2X Barlow lens to take these pictures and these videos. It was cheap. It was something that came with the, the scope. It, it, it's not the high. It's it's cheap. You probably get the same Barlow lens on Amazon for like twelve bucks. It's cheap. Now I didn't spend an arm and leg on a three X Barlow lens, but I got a. In my opinion, I believe I got a better quality. It's from SV Boney. It's a three X. I could have got a Celestron on for eighty, but I spent like thirty or forty bucks on this one. So. We're going to give that a shot and enjoy some of the, the scenes uh, with the, um, the eyepieces that I have. And then I'll get more familiar with the software and I'll take some video with the, uh, the SV-105. And we'll, we'll show you those results as well. So enough talking. You want to see my results. Nothing crazy or to write home about, but it's really cool. Um, obviously of the two pictures of, you know, Saturn and Jupiter, Saturn looks a lot better than Jupiter does, but we all got to start somewhere. So without further ado, here are my images. Enjoy and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.